He had no known underlying health conditions and had just turned 30. So why did the youngest person in Nashville to die from COVID-19 leave the ER after being diagnosed? Well, our chief investigative reporter Jeremy Finley found he's among an unknown number of Tennesseans making a very difficult choice. Pay your bills or get life-saving care. Darius Settles had a lot. A young son, a wife, a promising small business in designing custom suits. What he didn't have was health insurance. The premiums are so great for, especially young people, they, they, they just can't afford it. Roughly a week ago, when he started exhibiting symptoms of COVID-19, his father says he was hesitant to seek treatment. Do you simply think he waited too long? I think that could be part of it because, you know, when you don't have health insurance, they would have to make a decision. Do we pay our bills? Do we have a place to live? Or do we go to the hospital? Settle's hospital paperwork shows he went to Southern Hills ER twice, once on June 30th and again on July 3rd. Both times he was discharged. His family says he stopped breathing at his home on July 4th. Why did he go home? They sent him home from the hospital with some medication, with an inhaler, and as though, you know, that was going to be it. I, I don't understand it. In an email to News 4 Investigates, TriStar Southern Hills wrote, in part, Settles was told about the risk and benefits of admission versus outpatient management, but he ultimately chose to go home. Because he went alone each time to the ER, no member of Settles' family was there to hear what he told doctors. All his father knows is that too many people are having to make desperate choices facing a deadly virus. He did like thousands of others in Tennessee and, and elsewhere. They just put it off until they can't take it anymore. Jeremy Finley, News 4 Investigates. You can't hear that and not feel heartbroken for that family. And neither the state health department nor the Metro Health Department are keeping track of how many COVID-19 patients don't have health insurance. It's important to note, federal law requires hospitals to treat patients regardless of whether or not they have insurance and they can pay. But hospitals can also issue bills following treatment.